Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Slightly Warped Podcast. I'm Rick. I'm joined, as always, by Big Show. Show, how are you? I am doing well. Every day above ground is a good day. One thing's for sure, brother. We all doing better than Diddy. I didn't hear. Oh, you didn't hear? Okay. So the feds had planned on arresting him sometime today. They just said, um, F it. They got him yesterday while he was with his kids. Interesting. Um, the, uh, the, um, let me see. They got him for sex trafficking, racketeering, <clears throat> his little freak off parties. Um, oh man, what else did they get him for? Let me see if I can open this up real quick. I know I didn't want to spend too much time on him, but, um, and we can talk about it on another show. He he got arrested for doing some bad shit. We all know, kind of know yeah. the charges. Yeah, uh, weapons, drug paraphernalia, I believe was involved. I know there's some sex crimes. So um, somewhere, R. Kelly sitting in prison, like, whoo, I ain't the only one. Uh, so, sure. well, just remember this, folks. When it happens, P. Diddy did not hang himself. I'm, I'm not even going there, brother. <laughs> but I'm going to try to keep this podcast happy today, but it's kind of hard because we're starting off with the National Football League. And, Hold on. Uh, Before we move on to the National Football League, I want to say something real quick because uh, yeah. we didn't mention it last week and we should have. RIP to Darth Vader, James Earl Jones. Yes. We should have mentioned it last week and we did not. So I want to make sure that we throw that in here that, you know, you know uh, well, obviously us two being gr two big Star Wars geeks, you know, uh, he'll definitely agreed. be missed in future uh, whatever, you know, Star Wars saga does. Uh, in, in addition to him, too, since we're going that route, Tito Jackson, RIP, and Frankie Beverly as well, RIP. Um, yes. Uh, all of them will be missed, but James Earl Jones, yeah. Icon. Absolute icon. Who were the three, though? Because Tito just passed yesterday. There were three last the, week. Because you the, the day before was oh the Maze Maze's lead singer, Frankie Beverly, died the day before Tito Jackson. But no, you, me, and Kevin were on a text message and we said it we were talking about it oh. comes in threes, and that yeah, was it a comes three. in three. Well, there's still but a couple Tito days was left four. in this week. Tito there's still was a couple four. days Who left in this third? week, so uh it was uh it was another person in the entertainment industry but not as well known i i know who you're talking about dang and, and i'm, I'm I, looking back to our stuff here okay Rick. good used to have the text feed because i i don't i don't any longer have the text feed i believe so um because tito just passed yesterday or that's when yes. i seen it yeah it was yesterday See if the uh, old interweb has uh, got something on there. Um. Oh, Chad McQueen passed away. That's Steve McQueen's uh, son. Yeah, but we wouldn't have talked about that. No. Uh, if you're familiar with jazz, Sergio Mendez passed away, but I don't think that was it either. And then all these other ones are prior to last week. There's a wrestler on there, Richard Simmons, ballerina, my, my Kella de Prince, but I know that didn't come up. I believe it was uh, the dude that uh, yeah, the dude that uh, played Splinter's voice in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Thank you. Thank Peter, you. Peter Renaday. That's who it was. Okay. Let's see. Big show on this show is a wealth of information, everybody. 
All right. So since you're wealth of information, I'm going to lean on you real heavy. <clears throat> well, wealth, wealth of useless information. <laughs> um, we got to talk. Okay. The, uh, Let's talk. The NFL games from this past week. Um, there was a lot of head scratchers, bro. There was a lot yeah. of head scratchers. And, um, I, I guess the best way to go through this is to actually look at our picks. We're going to start off with last week's games before we get to next week. Bills, Dolphins. Um, we both went with the Dolphins. It wasn't even that close. Tua is on the brink of retirement. If he's not, he's crazy. Uh, the Saints didn't see that coming. So, you know. Carr waits until he's out of Vegas to become the QB we needed him to be. Uh, the Buccaneers, Lions, that's not so much an upset, but kind of an upset. I think that was Detroit's home opener, too. They were the odds-on favorite in the NFC to get back to the dance if it wasn't the uh, 49ers. We'll get to them in a second. Colts, Packers. Why did I feel so strong about the Colts and then just get smacked back down to earth? Because the Packers quarterback wasn't playing. Fooled me. Love was yeah, Love was that, injured. We both thought that that would be the determining factor. All right. Here's where I finally pick up a win. Jets over the Titans. I don't know why, again, you took the Titans. Uh, that was a ballsy move. It was, a, it was our home opener, and the Jets didn't show us anything the week before. So it was a pick em game. We both went with the 49ers, and the Vikings made us regret it. Um, I went with the Seahawks. You went with the Patriots. Um, now, that one shocked me because I didn't think the Patriots were that good. And you you had something inside you that made you think that they would be. Uh, you, you came close to being right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Both the Jets and Titans and the Seahawks Patriots came down to the final drive. So I mean, yeah, you know, it could it could have went either way. Speaking of final drives, you uh pick up your first win. I pick up my what second on this week. We went with the commanders over the Giants. If you had told me last week that the commanders wouldn't score a touchdown and the Giants would score a couple. I probably would have went with the Giants. So glad I didn't because uh, field goals really mean something this year. Ask Pittsburgh. Yeah, I think I think Giants are the only team to, to score three touchdowns in a game and the other team not score any touchdowns and lose in the history yes. of the NFL. Not a stat that you want on your resume, I guarantee it. We both went with the Chargers over the Panthers. That was a no-brainer. We felt good about the Jaguars. We didn't feel good about the Browns. But I guess uh, Deshaun Watson earned him a little massage this week. Um, Again, that was another fluky yeah, last-second type of win. Speaking of fluky last-second, Raiders over the Ravens. Why didn't I go with yeah. my own team? Logic. That one was crazy. Logic. <clears throat> if, if, if they play this game ten more times, Baltimore wins nine of them. Let's be real. I don't, I don't know. Baltimore is not the team we think they are. You, you know what? You you could be right about that. Speaking of that, role reversal, the Cardinals aren't the team we thought they were. They are better. Uh, you went with the Cardinals. I went the Rams. Uh, Cardinals convincingly beat up on the Rams. They beat them like they stole something. I could not believe that. Yeah. My thinking on that was the week before the Rams played Detroit, and that was a close victory for them. And the Cardinals played the Bills, and the Bills had to come back to beat them. Um, so that's why I picked the Cardinals to beat them. Steelers over the Broncos, and like I told you last week, it would come down to defense because that Steelers defense is cold. Um they didn't beat up on the Broncos as bad as I thought they would, but the Steelers did enough to make sure that they sealed the victory. <clears throat> we both got lucky on the next one. 
uh, the Chiefs survive another scare. Uh, this one went in their favor because of a, a pass interference call. And whether you think it should be a call, should be a non-call, uh, you got to follow what it is now as far as the letter of the law. It was pass interference. I'm a Raider fan telling you I saw it with my own eyes. It was pass interference. You run into the dude, you're going to get the flag. Let's I mean, finish this up. We'll go back to this game because I have okay. more to say about it. Okay. Two more. Uh, Texans over the Bears. We both went with the Texans. Eagles over the uh, Falcons. Excuse me. Falcons over the Eagles. I was wishful thinking. Uh, the Falcons did win that game. Didn't see that coming. Kirk Cousins is taking a dub. And uh, I believe they have their home opener next week. Yeah, against us. Yeah. All right. So for this week, we both did pretty sad. Uh, you were five and eleven. I was seven and nine. Not much better. Overall, you are fourteen and eighteen on the season, and I'm twenty and twenty twenty and twelve on the season. So I've got a slim, and I mean slim, six game edge so far. Long season left. Uh, Sixteen this more weeks of true. football. Anything can happen. And but uh, I want to go back to this Chiefs game real quick. Okay. So I am tired of hearing. The refs bailed us out, blah, 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 blah. The Cincinnati Bengals lost this game both on the field and in the coaching booth. I'll go with the very last play, the fourth and 16. Mm -hmm. Cincinnati Bengals were playing what they call a picket fence defense. That means that you have three, and you can go back and look at the video. They have three down linemen. So you have your two, your your one defensive tackle, okay. your two ends. Everybody else in they mama is on that first down marker playing picket fence, which mm -hmm. means that you only have a couple linebackers and the rest are defensive backs. So you have all seven cornerbacks back there playing, which means mm -hmm. that that's your entire cornerback. Your rookie cornerback is out there that doesn't even get any snaps in real in real time. Right. He's the one that did the DPI. Mm -hmm. They're rookie. So that's a bad coaching. You should, fourth and 16, you don't need to be have a pick fence. You should play just a regular defense, cover two, Tampa two, shell coverage, whatever it is. Because you're basically giving yourself, um, you know, up to what happened. You know, all, all Patrick Mahomes has to do is throw it up there and anybody touches it while it's in the air, it's, it's a DPI. So that I blame on the coaching's bad defensive call for Cincinnati. But if you go before that, I mean, you know, you had uh, Jamar Chase have a complete meltdown over a regular tackle. Nothing was illegal about that tackle that happened on True. Him. I remember that. Yeah, and he got all that he got all taken off. That cost. That was we would have to have punted if he didn't do that. And then the other thing is, is when you're on offense. Before they went up by two, so they're down by one. Cincinnati's down by one. Uh, you know, they allow themselves to get a sack. Now, granted, defense, the Chiefs defense made a hell of a play. Spags made a hell of a call. But you know who you're playing. Don't, you know, you need to make sure you score a touchdown. You score a touchdown, that puts it and kick an extra point. You're up by nine. Yeah, we there's no way we could have won. So I don't know that I just I get tired of hearing all the Cincinnati fans saying that, you know, we were lucky and blah, blah, blah. Cincinnati, you know, despite us playing our worst game and and Patrick Mahomes playing his worst game ever in his career, you know, they basically still didn't want the win. We tried to give it to them. They had a pretty bad game on Christmas Day last year. This was his worst game ever statistically as a player. He had 150 yards passing, two interceptions. Was it two? Okay. I remember one. I, I... It was two interceptions, and, and, and we, I mean, we were negative two in turnover ratio. The only difference was is when they fumbled, we ran it back. 
for a touchdown. That's right. <clears throat> so there, I'm getting off my soapbox. <clears throat> and, okay. and if if I have any virgin ears out there, cover your ears because I'm just gonna say this. I'm gonna move on. <clears throat> Fuck Cincinnati. Well, I you've earned the right to say that. Your team won. I will say this every time y'all play them, it is a close game. And it's a matter oh, yeah. of three points or less in one favor or the other. So, um, and I'll also say this, whether you've lost to them or won to them, it's been a big mistake that's uh, put the other team on top. So, eh, they say football's a game of inches. Mm. And that's true. Um, I will also say this. It, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how you got the dub. Is it an L or is it a dub? It's a dub. Can't oh, take yeah. it back. A W, a W is a W in the National Football League. You know, um, as we get to those dubs and Ls, we're gonna uh, talk about the games that are coming up. I really have little to no interest in the Thursday night game. It's uh, the Patriots at the Jets. This scares me because even though the Patriots lost last week, they've been playing good. I'm waiting on that Jets defense to finally show up. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go with the Patriots because this is a division game. This is going to be tougher than the Jets think. It's actually an interesting. I think it's going to be an interesting game. Uh, better than the one last night on paper, I think. <clears throat> um, I'm going to go with the Jets. Okay, it's their home. It's their home opener. All right, Giants at the Browns. Browns. Oh my. <laughs> New York can this score five gonna, touchdowns, and the Browns are still going to win that game. This one's going to end in a tie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pick the Browns as well. Green Bay is at the Titans. Uh, Green Bay has showed me that they can still play as a team. I'm going with Green Bay. Mm, yeah. I'm, yeah, Packers. The Bears at the Colts. The Bears are a dilemma. They seem to play so well, but screw themselves. And... I'm not even going to go into it. I'm going with the Colts. Same. Texans at the Vikings. Okay, Vikings did it with smoke and mirrors. I don't care what anybody says. I'm going with the Texans. Why do you say smoke and mirrors? They caught San Francisco by surprise. San Francisco played the worst game of their lives. You remember how you said Patrick Mahomes had his worst game? San Francisco as a team had their worst game. They are not they are not How did that they catch, bad. How'd they catch San Francisco by surprise? San Francisco didn't take them seriously. They didn't catch them by surprise. The game was close. I mean, but they gave up a 98-yard touchdown to Justin Jefferson. Yeah. 98 yards. That's not, I mean, you got to give put some respect on the name. You got to give them the, their props. All right, I'll give them props, but I'm still going. I, I wouldn't. I I wouldn't say smoke and mirrors. I definitely wouldn't say smoke and mirrors. Okay. I mean, they're two and zero. Oh. They're two and zero, oh, just like Houston. Houston hasn't. Houston has won their games, but they haven't dominated their games. Yeah, okay. But with so that being said, with? I'm also picking Houston. <laughs> okay. Eagles at the Saints. Once upon a time, I would have easily took the Eagles. Not in mirror. Um, if Kirk Cousins can carve up on some Eagles, that Saints offense is loaded. Uh, Alvin Kamara looks good. Now He's stop. averaging he did five not... yards a carry. Will you stop? You, this is a typical Raider fan. You like to embellish stats. Kirk Cousins did not carve up the Philadelphia Eagles. The score was 22 to 21. Or 21-20, whatever it was. Did they won we not in the just last say, seconds of the game. But did we not just say who got the dub? Right, but don't say that he carved them up because he didn't. 
Okay. He narrowly escaped because, with a win. Right. But here's the thing, and, and I'm not debating the win, but you said, you know, if if Kirk Cousins can carve them up, then Carr is going to just, you know, make a feast. Out. No, that's not the case. Don't let's not do that. Actually, let's I be, didn't let's say be real. Actually, I didn't say Carr. If you're being real, I said the Saints you are stacked Saints. on offense. Correct. And who's who's and the Falcons are not. The Falcons are correct. Not, correct. But 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 Cousins did not carve them up. Okay, Cousins got lucky. The Saints won't need luck. They I have better skill that, players. I wouldn't even say they got lucky. They executed well and on that last drive. I mean, but, you know, the big story was if Saquon Barkley would have caught the ball, the game would have been over, right? But he, he didn't catch it. You're right. So, um, that I mean, so, yes. What, again, I'm with you, though. The Saints are, I mean, that's a name that we got to put respect on Saints' name because they are now, – they're not going to score they 40 are surprising. this week, but they're, they're going to I don't know. They might score 39. <laughs> that, that might be true. That might be true. I mean, because they are, they are balling out. And who did they play in week one? Oh, the Carolina Panthers. That's why we brushed it okay. off. It's just the Panthers. But, but when, they they went, when they went to the Jerry World, yeah. And Cowboys should be embarrassed. Um, so, so you got the yeah, Saints. Yeah, I'm going to I'm a pick. Yeah, I, I want to pick the Eagles just for I'm Eagles. I'm Eagles upset. I'm calling it. Ooh, okay, okay. Chargers at the Steelers. I hope. I pray. Chargers. I'm going with Steelers. I'm going with the Steelers. Charge. Chargers. Okay. So we're different on that. Broncos at the Buccaneers. I'm going with the Bucks. Buccaneers. Panthers at the Raiders. We finally get our home opener, our proper home opener. Um, I'm going with the Raiders. <laughs> I don't know. The Red Rifle is going to be quarterback in the Panthers now. Look out. <laughs> um, this is, you know, two teams that don't have a quarterback. Uh, but I, I – Raiders defense is, is pretty salty, so I, I'll go with the Raiders. Uh, the Dolphins are at the Seahawks. Dolphins haven't shown me anything. The Seahawks seem to be very resilient, even when they're down. I'm going with the Seahawks. Yeah, if Tua didn't get hurt, I probably would have picked Dolphins because they would have been 2-0. Uh, they wouldn't have got their ass beat by Buffalo last week like they did. Um but Seattle, because the Dolphins just don't have a quarterback. Here's an interesting one, brother. The 0-2 Ravens are at the Cowboys. I think the Cowboys finally get their act together. But as for the Ravens, they're getting ready to go 0-3. It's getting ready to be interesting in that division. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you. The Ravens could go – uh Oh, and five. Mm. Cause I'm picking the Cowboys as well on this game, but just, I, I'm going to just jump to their, uh, their schedule real quick. Okay. Uh, team schedule. Ravens. So they started off with Kansas city. They lost to Oakland. Or, I'm sorry, to Las Vegas. They play at Dallas. Week four is Buffalo. Week five is Cincinnati. Week Ooh. six is Washington Commanders. Week seven is Tampa Bay. Week eight is Cleveland. That's probably their first easier game. Week nine is Denver. Week 10 is Cincinnati again. Then they play Pittsburgh. Then they're at the Chargers. Home against the Eagles. At the Giants. Home against the Steelers at the Texans, and in the year at home against the Browns. Ooh, ooh, that's ugly because, you know, I only counted six possible wins off of that. And that's if they're playing yeah. like they're playing now. They could get better. I, but... mm, I don't know. that Their offensive line reminds me of the Chiefs' offensive line in the Super Bowl. They, they, their turnstile offensive line. Yeah. It's bad. But Cowboys – all right, so 49ers are at the Rams. I think it's going to be a bounce back for the Niners. 
they're not going to win it convincingly or anything. It's going to be a dog fight, but I think the 49ers, uh, they're going to miss Debo. How many weeks is he going to be out? I think the, uh, the two or three, three or four. <laughs> Both teams are missing key pieces. I think uh, what's uh, what's the Rams wide receiver, the Hawaiian dude? I, I forget his name, but I he was a rookie about. last year. But yeah. yeah, he's injured. San Francisco's got their starting running back injured and their wide receiver injured. The Rams, I think this is the Rams' home opener. Um, uh, no, they 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 had Detroit when when Detroit, I thought Detroit played at home. I nah, thought that, I thought that game was at Detroit. Okay, you're right. You're right. Detroit's already had their home opener. Okay. Yeah, right. Detroit's been at home the last two weeks, I thought. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, Man, this is a tough one. But I'm, I think the Niners will bounce back. I mean, that is a tough one for me to pick. But, yeah, I think the Niners will bounce back. Yeah, it's going to be close, but I think it's the Niners. The Lions have something to prove. The Cardinals are on cruise control. I'm still going with the Lions. Cardinals. Really? I think the Lions weren't as bad as we saw last week, and I don't think the Cardinals were as good as we saw last week. Then you haven't been watching the Cardinals games. You're right, I haven't. <laughs> Just the I highlights. Mean, let's look at who they played. The first game they played Buffalo. In Buffalo. Yeah. And Buffalo had to storm back to win. True. And, and, and Buffalo's a fantastic team. I, last last week, last week, the Rams had no had no match for the Cardinals. They they had nothing to answer for. I believe uh, Marvin Harrison Jr. His first two catches went for touchdowns, and he only had four catches, and he was over one hundred and thirty some odd yards. You know and what, brother? You have my man scrambled me around for the first time to switch a pick before we get this locked in. I am going to go with the midget and the Cardinals. Yeah, I think I think the Cardinals are the team that everybody's going to look over that that has improved vastly on offense. Now their defense is still questionable and because they've sucked the last few years, they're playing a very soft schedule. True. Um the Chiefs are at Atlanta. For the aforementioned home opener for the Falcons. Yay, go Falcons. Uh, but the Chiefs are going to win this game. Yeah. I and mean, this won't be sucks. by field goal. This won't be by the tippy tiptoes of a receiver being inbounds or out. This will be convincing. I think, I think that Mahomes is going to have a superior game compared to last week. And I think Kelsey gets in the end zone twice. I think Kelsey's washed up. I think this is the last year we're going to see Kelsey on the field, even though he has a contract to next year, I think, in the year, especially if we win the Super Bowl, he's going to retire. Um, I wouldn't be all he, broke up about that, but his uh, he's just – he's not this – obviously, I think Father Time has caught up to tra Travis Kelsey. He might I'm have a few this. games out there where – you know, he shocks everybody, but he's not the guy. He's more of a decoy now in the offense versus a, a weapon. I think Trav is already preparing for life after football. He's doing a lot more acting gigs and stuff like that. So, oh, yeah. He's, he's I, I fairly smart. That. But um, I, I'm i not as convinced because even you said last week that, that the Chiefs would beat Cincinnati convincingly. And that wasn't the case. They didn't beat uh, the Ravens convincingly. True. I don't think this will be a convincing victory. I think they'll play better. Uh, Atlanta is is um, one of those teams where if you don't execute, you can get nipped in the butt. Just ask Philadelphia. Um, now we we're going to give scores here later, right? Uh, yeah, we're we uh, doing that now. We'll do. We'll do the since we're talking about the Chiefs game. We'll give the score on it now. 
Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go Kansas City twenty eight and Atlanta twenty four. Okay. We're we're close. I, I'm gonna go Kansas City twenty seven, Atlanta seventeen. I just think there's gonna be some red zone problems for uh the Falcons. They'll get close, but they'll have to settle for a few field goals. And that ain't gonna be enough. Who knows? We might be in for another shocking week in the NFL. Um closing out these last two games. The them there Jaguars look pathetic so far, and they are going into Buffalo. So you know I'm going with the Bills. <clears throat> yeah, me too. Um I mean Jacksonville again, they've they've lost games in the last few seconds. Um they're very disappointing, yeah. So Buffalo, I'll go with Buffalo as well. And the final game, the Monday night game, uh, the Washington Commanders are at the Cincinnati Bengals. The Bengals are trying to avoid 0-3 desperately. So I think they're going to come out with their first win of the season. Yeah, I, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Joe Burrow has been starting for four years. And three out of the four years, they've started 0-2. Yeah. So, um, I, I think Cincinnati bounces back. Yeah, Joe Burrow will never be called Mr. September by anybody because <laughs> it just don't happen for him. Or Mr. February. That was cold. <laughs> but you're not wrong. Okay, here's the thing. We're up against the clock, so I want to move Season 7 of Game of Thrones to next week. Because I okay. do want to talk to you about this MSN rankings that I saw. Okay. And I, I, I think it's a <clears throat> joke. Um, let me pull it up here. So going into week three, I don't agree with any of this. Okay. Yes, New Orleans has put up damn near 80 points. But there's no way they should be ranked number one in the power rankings. Come on. Really? Why? Who should be number one? I would have actually given it to your squad. You Why? beat we haven't you, we haven't scored you, very many points though. You beat superior and, opponents. And I mean it, it doesn't even have to be them. There could be a couple more on this list that are two and up. I'm gonna say we 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 barely, barely beat superior opponents. New Orleans has dominated both of theirs. Okay. We disagree on that, but I, I, maybe not Kansas City. But I feel like somebody else should have been up. I don't. I'm not. I'm not convinced yet that New Orleans is, you know, that team. Well, and it's just week three, brother. They're going off of what they've true. done so far. Based on that, the Los Angeles Chargers are ranked number two. I don't agree with that. Yeah, based on your logic, from what you said about the Chiefs, the Chiefs should at least be ahead of the Chargers. Well, I mean, they haven't – I mean, the Chargers have also played very well. I just don't believe that they should be number two. Steelers I are ranked Buffalo number I think Buffalo should be number two. Agreed. The Steelers are uh, ranked number three. Man, that defense is cold. Whoa. So I get that. Baltimore is number four. Wow. That, yeah. See? See? This is where I'm going with it. You're going to put an 0-2 team in front of the 2-0 and teams. Really? How? How are you going to tell me that Baltimore is the number four ranked team ahead of the Chiefs? We ain't even got to them yet. Where? What? What number is Kansas City? Well, let's let's slide on down. Buffalo is number five, two and O team. Mm. Kansas City, right there, number, number six. six. Projected we record twelve four. and five. It, it, a couple teams should be ahead of Baltimore. But I guess I'm wrong. I guess they see something. Seattle here. I would put Seattle above Baltimore. Yeah. Even though Seattle is playing head and shoulders better than – I would put the Raiders. And this is a head scratcher. They shouldn't be that high. And you're hearing this from a Raider fan. I'll get to that in a minute. The Raiders should be ahead of Baltimore. Beat them head to head. 
Who did the Ravens play in the here? first week? Oh, the Chargers. That's right. Yeah. No, you're right. Um, Dallas ranked number nine. Are you serious? H- how do you figure? They got their head handed to them last week. Okay. The Broncos, 0-2. First of all, oh, a team that has a goose egg in front of its record shouldn't even be in the top half because you got too many 2-0 and o teams and too many 1-1 one one teams. You, you, you feel me? The Bengals, another 0-2 team, ranked number uh, 11 up here. So the, the Patriots, I think the Patriots have been playing better than the uh, Cincinnati Bengals. Why are they ranked 12? The 49ers are 1-1. Uh, one but I think they're better than the uh, Cincinnati Bengals. The Falcons, you can make a case. The Arizona, based off of what you said and what they've done, they should be ahead of the Bengals. You know, um, all these teams should be ahead of the Ravens, but that's another story. Vikings are 2-0, and and they're they're bringing up the back half of the, the league. At number 16, Eagles are 17, probably right about where they need to be. Packers, I think the Packers should be a little higher than they are at 18. Browns, right where they need to be, 19. Texans, a 2-0, and I mean, a 2-0 and team ranked number 20. Really? And Cleveland should be in the 20s. Houston needs to be like in the, in, 8 or 9. The, right. there, And that's where I'm going with that. The Raiders, hey. Whoever, bravo to whoever put this up here, putting the Raiders at number eight. We're not. We should be like hovering around the 12 area, 12 to 14. Yeah. Yep. Agree. I mean, th- the projected record, they got us going into the playoffs, but we ain't winning that many games. Uh, I think we're a 10 win at best squad. We'll sneak into the playoffs, probably get bounced in the first round, but we'll show progress. And I've been saying that all summer long. I'm, I I have not seen anything to make me say yay or nay to being better or worse than that. If we would have started off 2-0 and o and just killing teams, I would still say we're a 10-win team, 10 win team at best because the tougher part of the schedule is still coming up. I'm going to be honest. If you guys are above 500, you should count it as a good year. You should, but we – your team is not that good. Your team would, is not going to win 10 games. I, I believe they will. I, I believe they will. The The key to it is they got to do two I'm things. I'm willing One right here on done. this. I'm willing on this day right here to bet you a Dr. Pepper that that doesn't happen. I, I, I'm going to go ahead and take that bet because uh, you can have the Dr. Pepper. You can give me a Cherry Pepsi. I don't I don't do Dr. Pepper. Cherry Pepsi. Fair enough. Coke, it don't matter. Um, but did we pick on the Houston Texans game? Uh, no, it's not pick. Excuse me. Houston Texans should not be ranked twentieth. That's what I was saying too. There's no. Oh way. yeah, no, they should. They should be. They should be top ten. Uh, Tampa Bay also two and zero. Oh, they're twenty one. I think they Panthers. should be somewhere. I think Tampa should probably be somewhere in the ten to fifteen range. I would say that. I would agree with that. Carolina is number 22 at 0-2, and, and I think they're one of the worst teams in the league. I think they should, they should be play. last. They should be last. I think the Giants should be last. I think they should be right there with the Giants, but just above them. I don't know. The Giants have actually been competitive in their games. Carolina has not. Good point. Um, at number 23, we've got the Miami Dolphins. This is a smack in the face. I know they lost to a, but you're one and one. You shouldn't be below the Carolina Panthers. But no, they they should not be below Carolina. But I think 23 is probably a good spot for Miami right now. Look at their projected record, too. They project them to only win five games. Yeah, I think that's because of the quarterback situation. True. The Rams, they've got them at. 24, I think they're better than Carolina, and they've only got them winning five games. That, that's that's horrible. Uh, they're giving Carolina too much credit, or they're not giving these two teams enough credit. Ooh. 
Wow. I forgot about Detroit them. Detroit at 25. I forgot about them. And they got them at 25. You're going to tell me the Carolina Panthers are better than any of these three teams. No, nah, I can't agree with that. All right, Detroit Chicago. should probably be in the 15. I, if you put Detroit at 18, I'm still okay with that. Yeah. That's what but, I said. Between but, 15 and 20. Yeah. Um, Chicago Bears, 26. Um, I can see that because they've been pretty lackluster, except for that defense uh, in the first game. The they should definitely be above Carolina. Yes, yes. There's no way an 0-2 team should be above any 1-1 one one team. Uh, Jacksonville is 27. That's probably about right where they need to be. Um, yeah. The Colts, another 0-2 team. I think I think actually the Colts should be above the Jaguars. The Colts have been competitive. Yeah, the, the Colts, I would say, would be one of those 0-2 teams that should be in the top 20. Um, here's the Giants at 29. Jets. Um, um, excuse me, the Jets. I'm trying, I'm giving the Giants too much credit. A one and one team should not be 29. There's only 32 teams in the league. You're gonna tell me that all these 0 and 2 teams well, are better I don't than the think, Jets. I don't think that they're going off of the record that they have right mm -hmm. now. Couldn't be. Um, because if you look at some of those other teams on paper, they are better than the Jets. Um, and I do, I do also see that it does show the strength of schedule rank too. Right. So I'm going to ask you, name me besides Aaron Rodgers. Name me two to three other players stars of the jets you went there huh when because i thought you were gonna say name two to three people in the organization i can name you some people on the coaching staff no they don't they don't play <laughs> they don't play um man uh i can't i really can't I, I mean i'm gonna be honest i could probably only name one and that's sauce gardner the cornerback Forgot about him, so that I might, couldn't even name that him. Might, that might be a star. So the Jets get a lot of uh, attention because of Aaron Rodgers. But Aaron Rodgers is he, – he's not who he used to be. No, he, he's 40 years old. I do old. agree. I mean, I, yeah, I do agree. And he's coming off an Achilles injury. Um, I do believe that the Jets should not be that low. But they definitely shouldn't be above 23, 22. They should be 22 ish in that area. I would agree with that. Um, at number 30, the Tennessee Titans. That's about a good spot for them. Because I, I would, yeah, I probably, I, I, I probably would go Tennessee at 29. Giants at 30 and the Panthers at 31. Well, no, because there's 32 teams, right? So no, I would have Tennessee at 30, the pa the Pan or the Giants at 31, and the Panthers at 32. I would I would agree with that. I would definitely agree with that. Which means that if the Giants got to be down here somewhere, oh, there they are. 31. They're not last. They're not last. They're, they're right where we both project them to be. But it's amazing that the Panthers are so high. So I'm scared to see what I'm getting ready to see here at 20, at, at 32. Who are we missing? We about to find out. Drum roll. The Washington Commanders. Ah, oh, no really? way. There is no way you're going to tell. And they've got them projected to be 2-15. and 15. So you're going to tell me the Commanders are going to win one game the rest of the way out. I highly doubt that. I mean, they'll beat I the agree. Giants again just on principle. Um, that might be just, that might be the two victories are given us. <laughs> you might be right. Um, um, Washington, I would probably say if you're looking on paper and their potential, 
27 ish, 28 ish. I can see that. 27. Yeah. 27 is a good spot for them. Yeah. Um, they definitely should not be dead last. No, they should not. I am going to keep this list for a few weeks because I'm curious. And I would like to see where the power rankings are. Maybe check it every four or five weeks just to see, you know, the shifting and moving and and kind of remember where we had these teams or where we thought they would be and see if they begin to fall into that place or if we get any surprises. So I'm going to just quickly jump on here to the NFL power rankings for week three. And I'm, okay. I'm going to throw them down to you, okay? Okay. So, number one, Kansas City. Right where I thought they would be. Number two, San Francisco. Suspect, but I can see it. Number three, Houston. Maybe a little too high for them right now. Number four, Buffalo. Right around where I thought they would be. Number five, Detroit. Right around where I thought they would be. Number six, Philadelphia. A little high, but again, somewhere in that vicinity, six to ten, I think they're in that in that range. <laughs> Number seven, L.A. Chargers. Too high. Great. You got Harbaugh, rah, rah, rah. You're playing good. You're going to come back down to earth soon. Chargers Number eight, are New Orleans. In, I would say 15. Uh, New Orleans, ugh, because they're playing lights out now, I get it. I get what you said earlier about them. I can't argue it. Number nine, Baltimore. Too high. There's no excuse. This team should not <laughs> be in the top 10. They shouldn't be in the top 15. Number 10, Green Bay. A little high for them, but somewhere in that 10 to 15 range is good, so I can live with that. Number 11, Dallas. Ooh. I'm going to also say they should be a little bit lower. Not much, but a little bit lower. Number 12, Tampa Bay. Mm, good spot for them. Number 13, New York Jets. Probably a little high, but I wouldn't argue it. Number 14, Pittsburgh. Good spot for them. If they were a little bit number, higher, I wouldn't be mad about it. Number 15, Minnesota. Same as Pittsburgh. Good spot for them. Number 16, Cincinnati. Too high. Why why number are you 0 and 2 and you're you're in the top half of the league? It's not about records. Power rankings are not about records. That's true. That's true. Number 17, Miami. Yeah, good spot for them. Number 18, Cleveland. Uh based on that probably a good spot for them. 19, Seattle. I believe they should be a little higher. Number 20, Atlanta. Probably right about where they need to be. 21, Chicago. Too high. 22, Arizona. Too low. Uh, 23, Jacksonville. Way too high. 24, Indianapolis. A little bit too high. I think they're about 27. 25, L.A. Rams. Oh, God. Um, probably right where they need to be right now. They got a tough schedule ahead. Number 26, Las Vegas. My heart says, my heart and my head both say they're, they're too low. They, they're not top 10. Not anywhere near it. But if you say 12 to 15, I'm good with that. I think they're like 15, maybe 16. Really? Yeah. 
And, and the name, reason why I put name. them right in the middle is because but, I think that there are 16 teams better than them, but there are 16 teams worse than them. So, you know, they're, 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 they're in that, they're in that group of teams that they don't outright impress you. They don't outright depress you. I'll let, um, I'll let that, I'll let that slide for week three. I'll let that go. I, right well, in the yeah, middle. I'm, I, I'm going to say, I'm going to say this. They're going to win I don't games think they that they shouldn't. A la this past week, but they are going to lose games that they shouldn't. Yeah, I think that's every team in the NFL. I don't think that they're better than 20 other teams. I think they should be between the 20 and 25 range. That's my personal opinion for the Raiders. Uh, But, you know, week three, I'll give it to you. You beat Baltimore, I'll I'll give it to you. But 27, New England. Let me just say this about the Raiders. What we do this coming week determines our our season. You know, no, you think you press, play the Panthers. But but it but that's a dangerous team. Any team in the NFL can be dangerous, especially you you read your press your press clippings and you're Come like, on. yeah, we beat the Ravens and you go in unprepared against Come Baltimore. On. If they on. get upset Let's by be- Baltimore, Let's be honest. They should. You mean by Cleveland? You mean yeah, by, by, by Carolina? Uh, Carolina. You're right. Come it, on it, now. It, Let's be it, honest. This is if they lose, they have nothing to gain. If they win, you're supposed to. If yeah. they lose, you fucking suck. There's nothing to do out of. There's nothing to gain out of beating the Panthers. So this game isn't going to tell you anything. They just better not lose. Uh, right. I mean, they that's basically not. what it boils down. That's just what it boils down to. This game isn't going to have any bearing on your season. Now, maybe let's we let's hope not. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, you let's play somebody that has some sustenance. The Panthers ain't got nobody. Name me one player for the Panthers. I'll wait. I, 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 who's this? That? <laughs> well, I just it's said the red rifle starting for him. That's Andy Dalton. He's 187 years old. So is it I mean, still red or is it all turned gray? I mean, you know, he's been in the league that long. So well, he's still called the red rifle. Yeah. Um, all right. 27, New England. I think they should be higher. Really? Uh 28, Washington. Again, just the 20 to 25 range. Washington probably right where they want need to be. 29, Tennessee. Same. 30, Denver. Ooh, um, I would actually say Denver's better than that. Denver should be like 25. 31, Giants. Right where they need to be. 32, Panthers. Right where they need to be. This power ranking list is a lot closer to what I would imagine the list should look like than the MSN power list. I would say this. Going back to rank 30 for the Denver Broncos. I think that's the perfect spot for them. Because, again, I'm going to ask you, name me some Denver players. Um, Their young quarterback, Bo Nix. Okay. Um, God, the receiver's name, now it slips my mind. He's a young stud. Um. Damn, I can't even think of his name. I can't name anybody on defense. You hit me with these points, man. You hit me with these points. So so Denver has a decent team on paper. Don't get me wrong, okay? Mm-hmm. Denver's problem is coaching. Sean Payton is um, an unapproachable head coach from a player's perspective, and he's a dictator who thinks that his shit doesn't stink. I would agree. So I will I will say this. If you removed Antonio Pierce from the Raiders and had him coach the Broncos with that roster, the Broncos would give Chiefs a run for the money for the division. I I think Antonio Pierce is that much better of a head coach. Antonio Pierce has already beat Sean Payton. But but if you put Sean Payton in 
the Raiders, I think the Raiders would not win a game. Ouch. That's harsh, but Sean Payton is only Sean Payton because he had Drew Brees. Let's go back to when the big tuna was coaching the Dallas Cowboys. His offensive coordinator was Sean Payton. Yeah. Do you remember anything remarkable about that offense? Nothing whatsoever. Exactly. So when he got when he went to he got a, a job for New Orleans and then San Diego and New Orleans made the trade. Bre- Breeze went over there, you know, and he got lucky with a generational talent. Yes. So yeah, that that's that's my personal opinion. And you said one thing, you said that Antonio Pierce has already ready beaten Sean Payton. You're talking about last year? Yeah, yeah. They haven't played well, yet. He beat Andy. He beat Andy Reid too, but that doesn't make him a yeah. better coach. No, no, I'm, I wasn't saying a better coach. Um, and he I is a better, say a better coach. coach now. He is a better coach than Sean Payton. I want Antonio to get a full season under his belt before I say that he's a better coach. I he's, feel a better like coach he's a better coach than coach, Sean Payton. But I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it because I don't want to jinx it. I will him. tell you as a non Raider fan, he's a better coach than Sean Payton. But I will also tell you that the Raiders' season is going to suck, and Antonio Pierce will be somebody's defensive coordinator next year. Let's hope not. Let's hope not. Woo. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me with that. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to go cry over what Big Show said before we get out of here. Um, Don't cry. We got our predictions. We're going we're gonna to run this back next week and see how well we did. Um. My goodness, we've got to do better than five and eleven and seven and nine um, this coming week. We've got to. Well, we should. We picked quite a few of the same teams, so yeah, this should be a closer record next week. We are either going to do much better, or we are going down in flames together. That's right. This this Titanic, <laughs> we're going down with the ship. Exactly. All right, go ahead and take us out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, get the little notifications and uh, stay tuned because we got a lot of cool stuff coming up and uh, glad that you are along, you know, along the board with us, letting us just spit the little stupid stuff off our mind. Uh, be sure to love somebody that you love family. Tell them that you love them. Tomorrow's not promise. Amen. Thank you, everybody.